Hey folks, Matthew from Fiberglass Supply here. Today we want to highlight chop strand mat. Chop strand mat is a fabric reinforcement that is composed of short strands of fiberglass that are held together with a binder. When we put that binder together, the polyester resin it dissolves and the fabric goes in the solution. We're going to show you how that works by building one of these parts here. This is a Honda CX500 motorcycle side cover. We've got a nice little mold that we've built that we can use for this or for infusion. But today we're going to do wet layup with chop strand mat. And so we're going to lay this up here in a second and show you how it works. So the first thing that we're going to do on this part is we're going to put a little bit of resin in the bottom of the mold so that when we push that glass down into it, we get a nice void free surface. After we've brushed, brushed that resin in, we're going to drop the chop mat in here. The, as you can see, it's a sheet good, it's fabric. And as we push that down, you can see we're getting some wrinkles in it. And we haven't put any darts or anything like that. The reason we didn't do that is we want to show you in this piece how if you wet that out, the binder releases and those fibers are just in solution there and it allows you to get that material to conform to really complex shapes. So as we wet it out we're going to want to wet out all the way to the top so the binder is broken down at the top and we have the max maximum flexibility that we can get out of this material. So you notice we still got some big wrinkles in there and I'm just brushing out uh, some resin onto the top and get that broken down. So watch what we do here in the corner. We got this really big wrinkle. And normally what you'd want to do is a dart, but we're just going to poke that in and work it around, stretch it a little bit, and it'll just lay right down in there. And voila, off we go. Looking great. So we're just going to keep working that. Um, after we get this layer wet out, we're going to drop a second layer on. and one of the things I want to mention on, on chop strand mat is that it's great for compound curvatures, but it only works with polyester and vinyl ester resins. The styrene in the resins breaks that binder down. So it doesn't work the same way with epoxies, and we don't recommend it if you're working with epoxies because of that. So the second layer that we're putting in here, what I wanted to show you on this layer is that we've put darts into the layer. And instead of cutting the darts in, we just tore them. So a chop mat, you can tear it, and that gives you a nice feathered edge. So if you're doing multiple pieces, or it's really even more complex than this, and you really do need to do it in pieces, if you tear those pieces, the edges will feather in, and you don't get a hard edge that tends to either trap bubbles or be really prominent um, in the laminate. So here again, we're just going to work. We had X once you got it all wet out, uh, if you notice that layer went down nice and smoothly, once we got it all wet out here, we're going to get in with a bubble roller and we're going to roll out uh, air that's trapped in the laminate, just using a nice medium pressure. This probably is not the best bubble roller to use. We've got bubble rollers in all sorts of different sizes, uh, from a quarter inch diameter on up to two inches in diameter, and, and some that have uh, curved across the width of it as well for for shapes like this but it'll do the job so we're demolding the part here uh, it came out great it needs to be trimmed now and, and, and prepped to mount on the bike uh, yeah we'll we'll prime it and paint it it could be painted any kind of color we want we could put LED lights in it or we could have done this out of carbon but we wanted to show you today uh, the chop mat and this is a pretty typical laminate for a lot of automotive panel parts and stuff that are done in fiberglass. Two layers of 1.5 ounce chop strand mat and you know a polyester or an isothalic. This is an isothalic resin that we use here. So hey, thanks for watching the video. We appreciate it. And you have a great day.